Hey everyone, Mr. Kaczynski here working through IXL's 8th grade math skills. Uh, section P is transformations and congruence. Today we're going to find the coordinates after specific rotations. So this is going to seem very similar to my last video um, because again I'm going to concentrate on the rules of rotations around the origin. Our first rule is a 90 degree counterclockwise rotation which is equivalent to a 270 degree clockwise rotation. That is where any point in the form xy becomes negative yx. What does that mean? It means our new x value is going to be the opposite of our old y value, and our new y value is going to be the opposite of our old x, or I'm sorry, equivalent to our old x value. We'll show that a few times, don't worry if it seems confusing. 180 degree counterclockwise rotation, which is the same as a 180 degree clockwise rotation, that's going to be where xy becomes negative x, negative y. So our new x is the opposite of our old x, and our new y is the opposite of our old y. And our last rule that we'll work with is a 270 degree counterclockwise rotation, which is equivalent to a 90 degree clockwise rotation. And that's where xy becomes y negative x. So our new x is our old y, and our new y is the opposite of our old x. If you write these down right now, or maybe even pause and take a screenshot of this. It'll be very helpful to you as you work through this skill on IXL. Let's do a few examples. All right, write the coordinates of the vertices after a 90 degree, a rotation of 90 degree counterclockwise around the origin. Okay, so we have a rule for that. It's on the previous slide that I just showed you. It's where, oops, messed it up already. How about, it's where x, y, and these are our x, y values, transform into um, negative yx. All right, so um, our new x value, this column, is going to be the opposite of our old y value. Our old y value was 0, opposite of that is 0. Old y value is 2, opposite of that is negative 2. 3, negative 3, 2, negative 2. Okay, and then we'll do um, our new y value is equivalent to our old x values. Negative 7, negative 7, negative 5, negative 5, negative 7, negative 7, negative 9, negative 9. All right, let's graph this and see if we get the same image after a 90 degree counterclockwise rotation. Zero, which you don't have to do on IXL, but I'm going to do it here to prove to you. So 0, negative 7, 1, 2, 3. 4, 5, 6, 7, that's right there. There's um, B. Negative 2, negative 5 would be right here. Negative 3, negative 7 would be right there. And negative 2, negative 9 right here. So there's our new image. Is that a 90 degree rotation? Well, let's see. If we connect B to the origin to B prime, that forms a 90 degree angle. If we connect uh, C to the origin to C prime, that's a 90 degree angle. If we connect D to the origin to D prime, that's a 90 degree angle. And we'll do one more. What about E to the origin to E prime? That's a 90 degree angle counterclockwise rotation, so it's working. Let's do some more examples. All right, next rule, um, we're going to do a 180 degree counterclockwise rotation. All right, that's where XY, and again, you should have these written down, becomes negative X, negative Y. Okay, so we're going to take the opposite of our x values to get our new x values. Negative 3, positive 3. Negative 1, positive 1. Negative 2, positive 2. Negative 8, positive 8. And then we're also going to take the opposite of our y values. Negative 6, oops, positive 6. Negative 6, positive 6. Negative 3, positive 3. Negative 3, positive 3. That is for a 180 degree rotation. If we plot those, um, 3, 6, 1, 6, 
2, 3, and 8, 3. I'll just sketch this in. That would be a 180 degree rotation of the shape. The nice thing is though, on this ISL skill, you're only focusing on the points. So now let's do a 270 degree counterclockwise rotation. Then we will have utilized all of our rules. That's where XY becomes Y negative X. All right, so our new X value is our old Y value. Was negative six, our new X value is negative six. Negative six, negative six, negative three, negative three, negative three, negative three. Then our new Y value is the opposite of our old X value. The opposite of zero is zero. The opposite of five is negative five. The opposite of nine is negative nine. And the opposite of four is negative four. Uh, we'll go ahead and plot these one more time. There's negative six, zero, negative six, negative five, negative three, negative nine, and negative three, negative four. Boy, it sure works better when I use a line function, doesn't it? So we'll do that. There we go. All right, and that would be a 270 degree counterclockwise rotation. Oops. All right, a couple more. This says a rotation of 270 degrees clockwise. That's the same as 90 degrees counterclockwise. So we'll use this rule again that xy becomes negative yx. All right, so our new x value is the opposite of our old y value, two, negative two. Opposite of seven, negative seven. Opposite of 10, negative 10. Opposite of five, negative five. Then uh, our new y value is our old x value, negative nine, negative nine, negative five, and negative five. And instead of graphing it, I think we'll just move to the next one to show how fast and easy these can be just using the rules. All right, now we're doing a 90 degree clockwise rotation. All right, well, that's the same as 270 degrees counterclockwise. So the rule is that xy transforms into y negative x. Again, these are all on the first uh, slide that I showed. All right, so our new x is our old y, 0, 0, 0, 0, 4, 4, 4, 4, and our new y value is the opposite of our old x. Opposite of negative 8 is positive 8. That's not a, don't think of that as a negative sign. Think of it as an opposite sign. So the opposite of negative 8 is positive 8. Negative 5, positive 5. Negative 1, positive 1. Negative 8, positive 8. All right, so these rules will help you on this skill, rotations, find the coordinates in IXL's eighth grade math. Good luck.